Morning. Food. Fish. Big. Sharks. Calm, cool, and collective. <clears throat> Can't do any more. <gasps> Surgery assistant. All right, I'm the nurse. And then the other one is uh, tagging, putting the GPS tag on the dorsal fin. We're a well-oiled machine, Brandon and I, A-team. It's day two of the expedition, but it's only our first day of fishing. Had a little weather come through last night. It's good to get some bait in the water, good to get chum in the water, and it's good to start looking for sharks. Because I'm not happy until we start catching. Science, baby, science. Oh, we're getting a good early start this morning. Big chum slick. Got a lot, a lot of tunas. We've already started working this morning, so uh, I got high hopes for today. Today is going to be the day. Chop them up. It'll be real nice, greasy, oily. I call this sushi. Breakfast. Today's going to be a good day, my friend. Today. It's gonna be a good day. Blue skies, nothing but blue skies. The birds are eating everything. Ha! You see that? Oof, I don't think that was mine. So I'm doing a little uh, pre-dive inspection, making sure all the equipment is working right, uh, taking a look at the bottom, seeing what kind of structure, if any, exists. I'm doing what we call flying an ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle. It's actually hardwired with a tether. Uh, I've got sonar on it. I've got a built-in camera. It's got lights. We have the capability of uh, adding uh, HD uh, cameras on different mounts to get different views. And right now, what I'm seeing is uh, fairly flat. Sea floor looks like uh, hard sand bottom. Seen a couple of rays, which is a, a good indication because that's what sharks like to eat. So it seems like we're in the right place. So it's just a matter of of time before we we get something close by here. A lot of starfish, but uh, flat flat structure, so not a whole lot of structure to hold fish. Visibility looks to be about maybe 10 to 15 feet and kind of a a green tinge to it, but uh, should be workable if we if we do get a big fish in the area. Hey, Chris. Yeah, I'm just trying to get an update from you. Just curious what you're seeing. And you know, we got a good current break here. We got a lot of birds, a lot of life, some porp around us. You know, we're kind of investigating a place where if that, uh, where the ship is right now doesn't pan out, we have a place to maybe come to if we like it. It, it looks good in here. You know, I, I don't think we're in a bad spot. I just think it needs a little time. Yeah, no, that's what I feel like too. I think Brett does too. He doesn't feel like, uh, there's any place we need to run off to, so we're fishing hard in here. You know how it is while you're waiting, you're fishing the hardest. So we're in here getting it done, trying these two spots. I, we like where we are. Well, you know, this kind of recon is what we need, so we'll see what happens. We'll be in there uh, just in, t you know, just by dark. Well, unless we're calling you with a fish before that, you know. I hope so. Now, what do we decide about where the surgery occurs versus ultrasound? I think that's where we have to sort it out, and that's one of the good reasons we're talking right now. Um, I tend to do my surgeries, you know, closer to the to the cloaca, mm -hmm. you know, so in the, the the aft part of the posterior part of the the abdominal cavity. Now, you guys kind of need to be, you know, above that area. We'll have to be in, 
yeah, anterior to that. Yes. What, what is it that you're gonna, this is going to be able to show us? Yeah, in, in the case of the ultrasound this time around, I think what we're really focusing on is whether or not the animal's pregnant. If we can get uh, a litter size, that would be wonderful. Um, the nice thing about this system is that it is a very field-ready uh, system. It's not waterproof, but water-resistant. Uh, we have the goggles, which, avail, which allow us to be able to see, uh, despite the glare from the sunlight, we have the ability to capture images Great. so that we can save them later. Hey, Mike? Yeah. Your arm's pregnant. Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> yeah. What were you doing last night with that? <laughs> he thought it all about heading south of Jacksonville? Yeah. Toward uh, St. Augustine at yeah, all? Yeah, Paul Maine's whole Jacksonville beach wreck in that area was interesting looking. That's where some of those other out offshore sightings were recently. We've just closed out 24 hours, so. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, right now, you, you, you know it takes a while to zero in. To scratch the surface. There's only, there was only two good days on a long trip over on Cape Cod. And we were in an aggregation. Yeah. And we're starting it, from scratch, know. no one's done no, no, this. Hey, man, so, but it's, it's, it's okay, it feels fishy. It's, it doesn't yeah. feel like we're yeah. in a it's completely wrong charge, galaxy. Man. We'll see what happens well, on day three. Well, <laughs> go through the motions over and over and over. That's all you can do with this kind of fishing. That's it. The gods be with us.